Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new vlog. It is a wonderful productive day today. I'm getting a lot of things done. But top of my list is unpacking some brand new clothes. So yes, there is going to be lots of lovely new clothes in this video, which I know a lot of you are here for. I'm here for that too. I am also still wearing this white tank. I'm just a little bit obsessed with this, especially in this warmer weather right now. Also though, this does make sense for what's about to come because it's from this box of things. So yeah, there's going to be a paid for advertorial in here for Netta Porte. I have some new bits. I also wanted to kind of run through a few of what I think can be like the it things of the season, like the, th the pieces that you're going to see a lot of you're going to see a lot of people wearing that maybe that you follow. If you follow a lot of people who are like fashion creators, I have a feeling you might see a lot of these particular pieces. So it's almost a bit of like a trend rundown. What to wear for, dare I say it, autumn? Are we nearly, are we nearly at that time now? I mean, it is September, so. So this is a bit of an autumn trend slash haul slash try on. My favourite kind of video. So let's just get cracking. Some of these things, I'm gonna share some things. I got a brand new steamer from Steamery. I have a number of their steamers, especially like the big, big, big steamer for doing like loads of clothes at once. But I always have a travel steamer with me on every single trip that I go on. And this is a Steamery travel steamer that it also is a bit like an iron. It's meant to double up as an iron, that's the idea. So it's got this flat plate so you can kind of run run this over something like it. you would an iron. So innovative, such a great little idea. So it's a travel steamer, travel iron. The Cirrus number no. three iron steamer. Efficient, easy to use and ideal to bring on travel. Great, love the little colour of it. That is coming away with us. I'm gonna get packing. In fact, in a couple of days, we're literally going to New York. So it's coming with me. Right then, okay guys, let's get going with a bit of a um, knit a porte what I think is on trend and what is amazing for the season. The reason this is apt, this top, is because I actually got this top in this box of things. But I got this box of things weeks ago, like I've been waiting to film this video. But this is sort of top of my list of things I'm obsessed with right now. Basics, things you can wear under blazers, under cardigans, under jackets. Throw it on at all times and it kind of looks quite cool and casual and off duty. And this is one that I picked up from net porte and have not stopped wearing. I'm going to have to buy another one probably. And in another colour, it's just a simple tank. Yes, I'm wearing it without a bra right now, but you can wear it with a bra. You can wear it however the hell you want. Okay, what else have I picked up? Right, these trousers I think are really, really fabulous. Wide leg trousers are just huge for the season. Again, it's this very like casual, off-duty sort of vibe. Um, and these are a pair that I found from Dries Van Noten. Or is it Dries Van Noten? I thought it said Dries, but either way. Uh, they're a beautiful, deep navy pinstripe, and they've just got a really fantastic shape to the leg. I'm seriously in love with these. The quality of these guys is insane. It's like beautiful thickness of wool. They fit so well, like perfectly on me. Yeah, just such a wonderful fit. I just love this drape and silhouette. It's gorgeous wide leg feel. Back pockets. With this kind of tank that's really simple. I just love this chic styling. Now, talking of chic styling, we have my new favourite pair of heels, and if you follow me on TikTok and or YouTube shorts at the moment, you'll have probably seen these already. Again, I think these are one of the it pieces for the season, the Saint Laurent heels. They have this plexi section and a sling back, but with this toe, look at this toe, that like cool crinkling over the toe of this leather. They're so cool. I mean, I love wearing heels, and if you're a heel wearer, you'll probably love these. They're not something you're going to be able to wear for hours and hours and hours, I'm going to be honest with you now. They're fabulous, and I wore them a few weeks ago to a meeting um, and loved them, but after about, after about three or four hours, I was like, yeah, I can take these off now. Just the way it goes with heels sometimes, you've just got to look fabulous for the time you're wearing them. For me, these are some of the IT heels of the season, for sure. Uh, I think they're amazing. As always guys, everything I'm talking about here, and I'm trying not to go like too over the top and go on and on and on about the same pieces, because I feel sometimes that's just like laboriously too long. 
I'm just talking you through everything I think is fabulous right now. Now this is another top that I picked up. I mean, I'm such a Jacquemus fan anyway, but this top I just really, really liked and I love a bandeau. So, let me show you this. I just don't think you can beat a really good black bandeau top. Again, it's the kind of thing you can wear with everything, tucks into everything, you can wear it with blazers, etc. I just really like this one, it has this piece of fabric that kind of folds over this front section. And it's, and it's beautifully knitted, got some really pretty details to this wool finish. I was quite taken with it when I first tried it on, I think this is really, really, really nice. Yeah, hopefully you can kind of see the different sections that have been knitted into this, so you can kind of see them there, see. Oh, next up, my favourite pair of jeans. You'll have seen me wearing these a lot recently, but just to kind of go over them again, because I think they're a really key piece again for the season, a fantastic pair of straight leg jeans. So wide leg trousers are very much in, and also I think straight leg high-waisted jeans. Something again, really cool. You can dress them up or dress them down. Yeah, these I am beyond obsessed with. I've featured these a couple of times actually already on different social channels and people have gone mad for them. They're just such a fantastic shape and fit. The quality is fantastic. And I just love all that, the extra details. The pockets, a beautiful little button, the black finish. The pockets on the back, it's a gorgeous straighter leg jean. I think again, amazing for the season. Okay, okay, let me see what else I've picked up. I have two bags to talk about for the season. It looks quite large, but actually for travel, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. You can also capsize the sides and pull in the sides if you want to, which reduces this down to kind of more of a bucket bag shape. But honestly, I, I just love it as a huge, huge tote. So good for travel, so good for when I'm going into London, I just need to take some bits of bobs with me. But if you manage to get your hands on this, then definitely do so. I think it's amazing. I mean, the quality is beautiful. Huge branding on the front, but usually I wouldn't go so large with the branding, but I really love this. It's just a really fabulous piece. But when I was on my hunt of kind of like the accessories of the season, I did also come across Loewe, and I think Loewe do so many beautiful stylish bags that are so recognisable. The Loewe puzzle bags are such a huge, huge cult favourite. I've never had one before and I just wanted to see what this one would be like. So I I went for this one and it's in this kind of like mustardy green colour. Um, I must admit I thought it was going to be a little bit more yellowy mustard and there is one that is more yellow so I might actually swap it for the more yellow one. In fact this comes in about 10 or 11 colours I'm sure. So you can really make this exactly how you want it but again stunning leather, stunning quality. I love that it's just a little shoulder strap piece. Yeah it's just got the flap, open the flap to get inside of this. It's a really gorgeous, easy, simple bag. So if you're a Loewe puzzle bag owner, let me know. Do you love it? Do you wear it all the time? What do you think of it? It's super cool. I mean, this, this colour's kind of really growing on me. I love how it goes deeper, like thicker, the strap there. So yes, opinions needed, guys. Now, also for the season, I've seen a lot of pastels and lighter coloured tones. So I thought I'd pick up a couple of pieces, especially more shirt styles. And I have three to choose from, first being a Max Mara dress. Unfortunately this was one size too big and I'm waiting to see if I need the smaller size but I, I love this so much that I thought you know what let me buy it see if I really really love it and then I can always get the smaller size if I do love it. The quality is beautiful though. Honestly the quality of this really is so stunning. It's definitely a bit too big for me in this size which is such a shame but if I did get my right size it's a really beautiful piece. Maybe I'll just undo one more button. It's a little bit more like fancy, fancy leg. Yeah, I think just one size down would better for me on my arms. Honestly, the quality is just stunning. How pretty is that? It is so classic and timeless, this dress. Oh, okay, as soon as that extra small comes in, I'm getting it, because I think it's beautiful. The way it's cut, I love the slit, I love how it goes longer at the back. It's, again, it's one of those pieces that I feel you'll find yourself pulling out the wardrobe constantly to put it on with an incredible pair of flat shoes or heels for a night out. You could belt it with a big brown belt, you know? It's beautiful. Ooh. We have a guest. He's never too far away. Okay, so, yeah, absolutely love this, love it. 
Oh, let me talk about the next piece before I have to get naked. Thank you, Bo. This I'm really excited about. Again, like I said, in this kind of pastel shirt theme, this is an absolute beaut. And the fabric of this is so unique. Ooh, wow. Look at this fabric. What is this? It's almost crepey, like a, a papery crepe feel. Back in my favourite outfit, and then with a shirt over the top. This is divine. Sorry, it's just gone so cloudy in here. Um, yeah, the colour is amazing. And because this is like a really thick silk crepe, it drapes so differently to that, the average shirt. So it's just kind of, there's something really casual about it. Tuck this a little bit and wear it a bit more open. A bit more open, a bit more casual. So nice. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Again, I feel like it's going to be such a great trend piece for the season. It's just a very fashionable fabric. Very cool and put together. But I have another shirt option. So again, beautiful fabric. This is a shirt from The Row, which in my opinion is one of the most chic and like understated fashion brands there is. So in fact, I've never had a piece from The Row but I've always, always wanted one. So this is just a cool, oversized, like long length shirt in a really beautiful, soft fabric. But 100% cotton, it's just supposed to be that classic, perfect shirt. This would look so cool just over a pair of shorts so that this almost swamps the shorts or just tuck it in. And I realise that for a lot of you, you're probably thinking, you know, the row, it's at like the top end of the price scale, but, but it's just for any of you guys who do love to spend a bit more on your kind of premium basic pieces, and obviously fans of the row as well. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Then when it comes to footwear, I do have another pair of shoes to show you. Jean Vito Rossi, as you probably know. If you've been here a while, you'll know I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of Jean Vito Rossi. And these are the loveliest pair of loafers. Guys, I'm getting into my flat shoes. Don't know what's happened to me. Oh, these are like really soft and easy to get on. What a surprise. I've just been looking for like a pair of white shoes that aren't quite trainers, but are like a white shoe that I can wear with everything. These could be a great contender. They look so much better actually with a cropped ankle. Oh, they're so nice. So, I mean, I can't vouch for what these like to walk around in out and about, but they're so comfortable to wear. This leather isn't rigid, so it just feels really easy to get on, really comfortable. Yeah, I think even these pants are a little bit too long for them. I think a cropped ankle, so you can see some ankle, would really work. Who even am I? I'm wearing loafers, wide leg trousers, and a blue shirt. Guys, I love it. This is like the new me. Okay, last but not least, two final pieces, a white shirt. I know I've got a lot, I know that, but this one is JW Anderson, and look at the cuffs. It has his signature cross link on the actual cuffs. Um, so cool. Yes, they're jangling around a bit, and Bo is like, ooh. But I think it's such a cool little feature. I've never seen anything like this before. So I wanted to throw it in as that more rogue niche choice for the season. Something that screams J.W. Anderson. A really chic white shirt option. These are so, so cool. Would you wear it? Such a unique style. Final piece, guys. Just as chic, the Ralph Lauren polo. So I was on a panel last week with the director of social for Burberry and another panel member was from Ralph Lauren and she was talking about you know the classic white shirt and how she was doing a piece around that recently and it got me thinking I'm the biggest white shirt lover and yet I don't own a Ralph Lauren white shirt so I bought the classic fit Ralph Lauren perfect collar Obviously a recognisable little Ralph Lauren logo. Shoulders fit perfectly. I think I went for the size... Oh, oh I got the size 4, wow. But it fits like a dream. For me, this is like an everyday staple. I'm surprised I never owned one before. But yeah, another perfect kind of on-trend but classic elegant piece for the autumn season. <laughs> okay guys, that's it. That is my rundown of what I think are kind of like the it pieces, the coolest 
chicest pieces, colours and items for this season. So I hope you've kind of took something from this. Um, I certainly have and now I just need to work out what I'm going to keep and what I'm not. But I hope you've enjoyed it. All the links will be down below. Uh, link to alternate porte. <sighs> yeah, let me know what you think though, what I should keep, what I shouldn't, what you like most. Oh, <laughs> you okay? I am uh, trying to beautify a little bit, a little bit sleepy. So first day in Venice, it's also our three year anniversary today. We worked it out before that we have known each other for 17 years, 17 years. We met when we were 16 through mutual friends. So we've actually known each other longer yeah, I've known you for longer, longer than half than, of my life. Yeah. Wow. I can't get rid of you. Yeah, we had mutual we had mutual friends and then and I thought you were a little bit of a pillock <laughs> when you were younger. Yeah, I mean I thought I thought you were a sweet guy, but I thought you were a little bit like cocky and confident. And then a few years later I was like, ooh, this guy's grown up a bit and he's single and he's a cutie pie. And that's when we hit it up. So it's been um, twelve years. Well, three years, three years married, and I love you so much. <laughs> when am I not late? To be fair, only two, well, probably three minutes late by the time we get to the boat. Oh gosh, sorry, I need to put my outfit on. I needed to record it for TikTok to finish off my makeup. Catching up on my things. What's going on? Hopefully we've not missed this boat. Please, that we've not missed the boat. Oh great, we're not departing until 11.30. Okay, Liz was very clever and made sure we got hit in. She knows you very well. She knows me very well. <laughs> oh, when the moon hits your eye like a big fruit of fire, then it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we are going to this restaurant. We've been to two times before. It's one of our favourites, and it's where I discovered my favourite cheese, Blue 61. It was at this restaurant. They also do fantastic Bellissima tiramisu. So, because it's our anniversary today, Liz, thank you, Liz has booked us this restaurant specifically as a anniversary treat. We love Liz. Um, so, this is going to be so, so nice. Oh, that breeze. That breeze and this water rest, that's what I need. Here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna just walk past it and went, oh my god, we've eaten here before! And then realised this is the restaurant. Where What's it called? Antico Martini. Antico Martini. So that we don't forget for the future. What's this place? Oh yeah. But is it not Blue Look, 61? No. <gasps> Oh, it's not sorry. the same one. It's not the same one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> because change uh, every season, change the cheese in the selection. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah, Thank it's you. It's like a gorgonzola. Yeah, I'd okay. be more so upset. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, La carta del vino. but did buy me a big uh, rock of it for my well, birthday. Yes. So I have had it recently. I'll get over the fact there's no cheese. I don't know better than. So. <laughs> You're probably going to go. Once again, I'd like to also get this on stories, so this is going to be both stories. And uh, you ready? Do I have to say something before? Uh, no, but yes, yes. Some kind of cheers moment. You ready? Um. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you had that open a long time. <laughs> say something quick. Say something quick. Cheers. <laughs> Shot cheers. of champagne. Cheers. Three years. I, still, I think we're running a bit late on, on the glam team, so I'm starting my own makeup, getting my base on. So I've got luminous silk foundation on, and then I've just put on luminous silk concealer as well. Using the Vive 125 brush. I just want to get like a really lovely glowy base, as if I've just I'm coming out in this. Oh, perfect timing for red carpet. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? That really compliments the eye. Oh, does it? Yeah, it really does. Oh, beaut. Yeah, it's got a lovely, like, pinkiness in this. Yeah. It matches, but and it's that's not softer. too much. So it's going to be really nice. It's going to complement your dress perfectly yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Almost there. <laughs> Just 
Yeah. You okay? Yeah. I'm just waiting here to be told to go down the red carpet. The pressure is real. <laughs> How was that red carpet? Yeah, all right. But hopefully we've got a few nice little pictures of us together. I was like, out of the way, everybody. And I just like grabbed you. Did you? Yeah, that's why I quickly ran in. I don't, I don't do the red carpet really, but like I strolled up it quickly when you were having your picture taken. I grabbed you, you? got a few, and then I dived out. Ah, uh, see, I see. I'm a pro. We're all about to now watch White Noise, which is a brand new song with Adam Driver and Greta Gerwig. And it looks really good actually. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. Good morning. We only got back at 2 a.m. So what time it was? It's 2 a.m. that we went to bed. I vaguely remember checking the time when we were eating that last course and it was like 1 a.m. Yeah, through at 1 a.m. The Italiano left. It was really good food. I was just spinning out from being so tired. Yeah, it was really cool. Did you actually get any footage of me meeting reggae or anything? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, you've already seen that then, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really, really nice. So reggae is um, Armani's new Armani Code ambassador. I think this is just code, I think. Yeah, it's a brand new Armani code. With new bottle and everything. Yeah. The new bottle's great. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. It's so rich and sexy man. Sexy man in a suit smell, sexy isn't it? Man. So uh, yeah, we had such a fantastic evening. As soon as I'd calmed down a little bit. Oh yeah. Because I was frantic because obviously with the, the timings on everything, like hair and makeup was pushed back and we didn't have time to shoot and I wasn't in control of any of the situation so I was just freaking out about it. Yeah. So by the time we kind of got there I was like ready to burst into tears and I just couldn't hold myself like you, together. I needed a couple of pictures taken on the boat didn't I? Yeah. And the camera wasn't agreeing with you was it? No. You got a little bit upset. I got a little bit upset because I was like I can't do it, I don't know what I'm doing. And then as soon as I had like a drink and Liz helped me get a bit of my makeup topped up and I was like, okay, I'm back to 100% now, I can do it. Oh, we've not talked about the film. Well, we did the red carpet. Yes, we did the red carpet, which was fab. And then, yeah, and we got some really great pictures as well. We'll insert a couple here, 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 and here. And then we went into the film, so it's called White Noise, Adam Driver, Greta Gerwig, and Don Cheadle. What did you think? I thought the acting was incredible. I thought the cinematography was amazing. I thought the dialogue was extremely difficult to follow. Yeah. And I thought the story was... I, I generally don't have a word for it. It was just bizarre. Yeah, I must admit... But not in a good way. We, we were talking about it, weren't we? And we think it's this new... It's a new... Did you say it's called Mumblecore? Oh, don't hold me to that. Yeah, I feel, I, I feel I, re I read something called Mumblecore. From what I read, he, the guy who made the film is known for creating films in this style. I think he used Adam Driver in another film called Marriage Story or something. I don't know, right. it's on Netflix. But it, again, I've heard that's a bit of a weird one. Um, so I think he's known for creating these kind of like artsy, right. odd films. But it's that kind of, you might have seen a film like it where it's almost like all the characters are talking, not really to each other, but just in this like, dialogue that doesn't make really any sense and they're all talking over each other and it's just it's almost meant to make your brain go what is going on why is no one I think engaging? it adds to the confusion of it but yeah, again it though, drives that, me mad i feel it's quite realistic though because if you were in a car with kids kids do talk like that everyone talks over each other the kids are talking to each other they're arguing they're trying to speak to the mum the mum and the dad are trying to have a conversation there's all this like kind of layering going on but to watch that, saying that, I just left and I had a bit of a headache from trying to watch that film. I generally did, it did fuzzle my brain a little bit. Yeah, it fuzzled me a bit too. But yeah, but equally, I think that people who love really artistic films would love They'd it. I mean, it don't up. get me wrong, I usually love an artistic film, but that was a bit much for me. Well, like I told you, I watched Killing of a Sacred Deer like a few days ago, and that was enough for that me to watch. For you. Yeah, I can't. If you've seen it. You'll know what I mean. Today is the day in between the Armani Code event and the Armani Beauty sort of women's event. So we kind of technically have a day off. So we have been, I mean, we're never off. So we've been pulling all our art images together. We've been getting all the red carpet images together, creating videos, creating TikToks, creating shorts. 
creating your stuff, creating my stuff. So now it's like half past two. So we're now gonna go shoot some other things and then get ready for dinner. So I've just been doing like this full Armani look. So lovely, dewy and glowy and pretty. I'm in this beautiful romper again, this like jumpsuit romper. Love it. So today we're about to have a so there's a photo shoot happening with Damon Baker. So this is a really cool um, opportunity to shoot with Damon. So I'm really really excited. So we're doing um, a full luminous silk look, aren't we? Yeah. 4.5. Lovely dewy, gorgeous, glowy, radiant skin, and then just my usual kind of like slightly sort of brown and a bit smoky eye. And then Patrick is on with my. <laughs> Patrick's on with my hair, making me all pretty and toozled. <laughs> so I have my wonderful glam team, and then I'm just gonna get into a um, Giorgio Armani look, and then we'll do the photo shoot. It's like princess. <laughs> <laughs> but still cool. Oh, beautiful. Nice, I love it, Patrick. And I think it'll, it'll last really well. Yeah, yeah. And even just a little shape. Yeah, and just yeah. like grunge it yeah. up later. Oh yeah. my God. Gorgeous. I want to look like this every, every day. day. I love it. And my makeup, look how glowy I am. Like, I love yeah. it, babe. Well, we're available. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> need an assistant I need, room. I need you in my life, both of you. Uh, Let me take a seat. Let me pop your so mascara. Yeah, mascara. Perfect. And then I'll get myself changed. Quickly. Well, that was an honour. So I've just done my photo shoot with Damon. We couldn't film in there because it's like a private space, but it was just so wonderful. Like the way he directed me. For the pictures we were literally in there probably three minutes yeah and the pictures look phenomenal absolutely phenomenal but yeah he just sort of said to me like look into the camera i want to feel like we're connected so really look into me through the camera yeah and he was like if you just need to take a second to kind of look down and then look back up and kind of feel more in the moment again feel free you know it was just a really he just sort of directed me and made me feel really calm and he was like let's take a breathe in and a breathe in and literally it was like three minutes and every single picture looked so incredible what an honor to shoot with him he's amazing like he shoots the most famous faces doesn't it like his instagram it's like the who's who with incredible faces so i'm very very honored and now what's so nice now is that we can just go and have a really nice chilled out lunch <laughs> you get confused i have no idea where we're going we can now just go have a nice chilled out lunch until two o'clock when we just need to go get ready again for red carpet are we ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, how beautiful is this look? Giorgio Armani gown into Giorgio Armani block heels. The same ones I was wearing earlier, but they're so comfortable. And then to match, beautiful little navy velvet, well, satin clutch, actually. Little satin clutch. Sneak peek of my brand new Edge of Amber earrings coming really, really soon. In fact, by the time you see this, you already know, it's coming out for you guys on the 15th of September. And these are the silver versions of our hoops. Also coming gold, of course. And I'm also wearing, in fact, I'm also wearing a few other little sneak peeks that I can show you. The Statement Malachite, a Mother of Pearl rings, got the beautiful multi-coin ring, I'm wearing it on my pinky, and the stunning cuff as well, just little sneak, sneak peeks. But yeah, this is my full look, guys. I love it, I love it even more than the day. What do you think? Which is your fave? This one. This one? Mm -hmm. I feel so pretty in this. I just love my hair that Patrick did earlier. And Alex looks amazing in his suit. I'll get some footage of you in a minute. Let's go! <laughs> So we've just gotten back and this is the Armani dinner for later. 
all of the tables are being set up. Just imagine how beautiful this is going to look when all the candles are lit and it goes dark. But currently, the sunset is happening and we're all just sat around having some drinks after the red carpet. I've had another absolutely amazing evening. I'm really excited to see my pictures actually because I really love this dress. And I felt really, really lovely with my boho chic hair and my full Armani glam. In fact, we did this for full, um, we did this for a reel. We did like a get ready with me reel. So you'll kind of see what I used, but I really, really love it. Um, I just feel, yeah, it just feels so nice tonight. The red carpet was brilliant. We've not watched the film this evening because it is a, it's more of a horror. It's a Timothy Chalamet film called Bones and All. And it didn't sound quite the genre for me. So I did skip out on that one. Uh, but yeah, we're just back at the hotel now having a couple of drinks and then waiting for everyone to arrive back from the theater. And then it'll be a full Armani dinner. Guys, look at this ponytail. So Patrick's just finished my hair again. And this is like the pony of dreams. I mean, look at it. Patrick Pony. Patrick Pony. <laughs> Patrick pony. You should make this like your signature thing. The patch snatch. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's just so perfect. Like the, the volume and the ethereal kind of volume on the top with this incredible, like slightly grungy twosled. Oh, it's just perfect, Patrick. Good. I'm just going to keep this in now for yeah. seven hours. I don't. Fine. It'll be yeah. This will be perfect. Won't move. Now. This yeah. isn't going to move. Because no, they, were, they were set yeah. in. Yeah. They're not going anywhere. No. So it's perfect, Patrick. Thank you oh, so much, babe. Honestly. So I got my amazing hair done. Mm, mm, mm. Went for lunch. And now I need to get ready for tonight's party. So it's like a big Armani dinner at the Peggy Guggenheim Museum. We're going there tonight for a big Armani dinner. And then after that is the Armani and Vanity Fair ball. Gala. Thought I would show you a little bit of my getting ready routine. Luminous silk in 4.5. I think it's a good shade for me at the moment. It's kind of quite, it's quite neutral in this shade. So all over. If you've never tried luminous silk before, by the way, it's like it is the perfect. It, it's kind of known as like the perfect event makeup or wedding makeup. So this is what I used for my wedding day because it's luminous, hence the name, and it has a radiance to it, without being too glowy, like without being too over the top dewy, which a lot of people don't want because if they've got oily skin, it'll be too much. It sort of has this skin-like effect with enhanced luminosity. And if you prep your skin properly beforehand and put like amazing skincare underneath, like I've got the Armani Prima Glow underneath, then you can kind of enhance the glow that way if you want even more glow. But otherwise, it is so beautiful, medium coverage. It's just stunning. And you won't get any flashback on it. It just settles into skin like amazingly. So I'm gonna put this all over. I'm gonna do eyes. I'm gonna try and do a bit of a mixy mixy. I'm gonna use the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm in 20 on my lids. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this whole new trick. I don't know if you've seen this on TikTok, where people do, where they do this, and then they sweep over the top to create like a defined crease just works really well and you get like a really defined like cut crease hold it like this against your lid and then you rub the brush along the top along your crease and it gives you like that defined cut crease it's really cool okay I love that that's in shade 20 then eye tint in 11 this is so cool it's like champagne -y, rosy shade i'm just gonna add that as a wash over the middle then i'm gonna use eyes to kill stella in three again i used this last night on like a, a short little brush and i really want to go like super smoky tonight so i'm just gonna push that into the lash line and just create a bit of a like a smoky wing all the way along. Eyes done. A little bit smoky, nice big wing. Just done my brows. Okay, luminous silk concealer in shade three. Do you want 
just through like the darkest areas to brighten them up a little bit. Here, here and here. I always like it on the end of my nose because it never holds makeup. So there, and I'll fix under here. And then just to lighten, add light through the middle. And I'm just really enjoying using a brush at the moment for concealer. This is actually the Vive one, 125. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's um, where our room is. There's like five rooms in a row. I think on this view, which is, I think, the best rooms. And I think next door is Simone Ashley from Bridgeton. And then Laura Haddock is next to her. And there's someone else on that side. An American. American. Sid Sydney Sweeney, is it? Yeah, I'm not sure. And there's little me in the middle. Yeah, this concealer is really, really good. It will help me as well, just like really neaten all that side up there. Like, can you see how much more light now is through the middle of my my face? Hmm. Okay, I kind of I carried on because for Alex to film every single bit would have taken ages. I've put on the Luminous Silk Powder in 8 for bronzer, which I love. I used number 51 in the Neo Nude Melts. It's this really gorgeous blushy shade for blush. I think I'm going to go dark lip. What do you think? With that blue suit. You know, yeah. I've done two nude lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to go a bit more like deep than going like super red. So this is Lip Power in 404. Do you know what I mean? Like a much more deep shade. What do you think of that vibe? Like a raspberry. I think that's really pretty. Hold there. Hold there. I'm just going to add the signature red 400. To the middle. To the middle. <laughs> just it's a bit like richer. What do you think? Really nice. I like that. I didn't actually get to film my actual like outfit, like I did my whole face, lip, everything on camera and then we went out and I was like I'm not even filming my outfit. So tonight's look is this full blue kind of metallic Lurex fabric Armani suit. Love it. I've gone for the red lip, seeing as I'm not doing a red lip yet. And then little sneak peeks of um, something that's coming soon. See your little sneak peeks. I could have not wear these tonight. Um, and what else? What else? Anyway, we're on our way now to uh, the Peggy Guggenheim Museum for our dinner. So we'll go for dinner and then we're going to this ball afterwards. So I'll try and film as much as I can, but you know what it's like when it's so busy and Everything's going on, I never managed to get much, but look how beautiful it is right now with this sunset. Oh my goodness me. Look at this setting. Look at this. How amazing. <laughs> Alcanzaste la línea, los dos sentiste.